Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this wireless USB audio adapter made by One Me. Now this is a $29 audio adapter that you guys can find on Amazon. Links will be down below this video if you want to go, of course, pick this thing up. Now on Amazon, this thing has 36 reviews with four uh, stars on Amazon, of course. So this seems to be a pretty nice um, wireless adapter audio transmitter for the price. So. It's going to begin with showing you around the box and actually before that if you don't know what this is it's basically this little chip here it plugs into almost anything with a usb ps4 xbox um, a wide range of windows computers wide range of macs um, macs that actually you know have proper usbs um, a bunch of di different devices if you want you go on their amazon and they list all of what works um, but basically you plug this into a usb uh, port and then you could pair up whatever uh, Bluetooth device you want to this thing So a Bluetooth speaker Bluetooth headset, whatever it is uh, you could pair it up to here. So that's very cool um, So now let's go and show you around the box. You can see here on the front wireless USB audio adapter one me There's the Amazon label right there Some features here uh, Connects up to two devices at once. So that's pretty nice and it's plug-and-play It doesn't require any software or drivers. So that's nice Nothing much on the sides, but on the back here, we just have a few things in different languages. What's included in the box, picture of the uh, transmitter right there. So that's pretty much it. And I don't have my actual knife around, so let's go and just use the uh, X-Acto knife here. Cut the uh, tape on the top. There we go. Let's go and open it up. Take it out. And looks like here we have a, uh, so this is actually like a little extender for the USB. That's pretty cool. It's very nice. And we also have a uh, user manual right here. And is that it? No, I was gonna say, wait, where's the actual product itself? Here it is right here, man, this thing is small. There it is. Check it out, it has a button on the front to, of course, turn it on, off, put it into pairing mode and so on. So there we go. So you could either plug this directly into the USB port on your computer, or you could plug this into the USB port on your computer and then plug this into the end here. So this is basically just a uh, extension wire, extension cord, whatever you want to call it. So uh, there you go. So what I'm going to do now is probably plug this thing into my Mac and maybe I'll try it out on my Windows PC too and go ahead and see how this thing works. All right, so now I have the adapter plugged into my MacBook Air here. Now, in this case, it's running uh, macOS Mojave, I believe. Um, it's a 2013 MacBook Air. It doesn't really matter um, what year it is, as long as it has, of course, a, a USB port. Now, I believe if you have the newer MacBooks uh, with, like, the USB-C port, you could just use an adapter, and this thing will work just fine, I, I believe. So, you might have to uh, maybe contact the company just to, you know, make sure. Um, that that's true. So anyways, it's plugged into here through the USB port. And just as it said on the Amazon listing, it was practically plug and play. The only thing I had to do is go into the system preferences on here and set it to the output device to output to the uh, USB. Um, tells you how to do that in the Amazon listing. And I believe it says it in the owner's manual too. Um, anyway, so I'm going to load up Safari here. I already have a page open. This is just top 100 songs of 2019. I just put in I uh, like hit songs into the search bar and this is what came up. Um, I also have it paired up to this Bluetooth speaker here, made by Oreolo. It doesn't matter what Bluetooth uh, speaker you're using. It could be earbuds, it could be a speaker, it could be headphones, whatever, um, as long as it's a audio device. So let's go ahead and click play and I'll just show you that this thing's working. There's not much to show off. Let's go and pause that. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I have to make it quick. Um, but there you go. And one thing to note is that the... Uh, volume buttons do not really do anything if you control it from the computer. The device itself has to have a volume button. In this case, it's one on the uh, side here, up and down volume. Um, so I can control the volume from here, but you can't really control it from the computer, except for just simply muting it. Um, so that's something to note, um, but again, it's working fine. I'll show you with the volume. I, I, I just hold my hand. 
See, it doesn't really do anything except when it's all the way down, then it actually mutes it. But no matter what level it's on, it's not going to be controlling the volume. Um, so you have to control that from the device itself. But uh, there you go. It works as advertised. Um, there's not really much more to show off. I basically showed um, all this thing could do, which is just simply um, bringing audio basically from a USB port and broadcasting it over Bluetooth to a Bluetooth device. So um, I guess what I'll do now is go ahead and give you guys my final opinions. All right, so overall, what do I think of this Bluetooth adapter? Well, as I showed in the previous clip, this thing works completely as advertised. Now, their main thing in the Amazon listing is that this thing requires no drivers. You don't have to install any uh, software on your computer to get this thing working, which is completely true. I literally plugged it into my computer, didn't have to install any software at all. I just had to go in and set the uh, system preferences to output through um, USB. That's the only thing I had to do. Um, it also shows that, you know, competitors um, that kind of make the same thing here, that theirs only works on like Windows and stuff. In this case, this works on Mac, uh, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. It works on a wide range of um, sys uh, system softwares. Um, on computers, those are the main three, Linux, Windows, and of course, Mac OS. Um, and I demoed it on Mac OS. Again, it's gonna work the same on Windows. That's the only reason why I'm not demoing it is because it's gonna work the same. You just have to go into the system preferences on there too and uh, set it to output through audio. So yeah, it works completely as advertised. I don't see a reason not to get it. Um, again, works very well. Uh, sound quality was definitely very good. Of course, if you're gonna go for like a cheap, um, you know, wireless Bluetooth adapter, uh, sound quality is not going to be very good. Um, in this case, it sounded very clear. Of course, that's going to mainly depend on your speakers. But uh, this thing, uh, I believe it actually has USB 5.0, or not USB, Bluetooth 5.0. I believe so. I believe I saw that in the, um, in the uh, Amazon listing. If not, I'll put it up on screen what Bluetooth it is. Um, so yeah, again, works very well. Definitely works as advertised, so I don't see really a reason not to get it. If you need one of these, um, I would definitely recommend picking this one up here. So, um, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.